Ammunition Against Anxiety Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Philippians 4, 6 One of the things we are thankful for when we let our requests be known to God is His promises. These are the ammunition in the cannon that cuts down the unbelief that produces worry. So here's how I fight. When I am anxious about my ministry being useless and empty, I fight unbelief with the promise of Isaiah 55, 11, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. When I am anxious about being too weak to do my work, I battle unbelief with the promise of Christ. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. When I am anxious about decisions I have to make about the future, I battle unbelief with the promise, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. When I am anxious about facing opponents, I battle unbelief with the promise, if God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8:31. When I am anxious about the welfare of those I love, I battle unbelief with the promise that if I, being evil, know how to give good things to my children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Matthew 7:11. And I fight to maintain my spiritual equilibrium with the reminder that everyone who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or farms for Christ's sake shall receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. Mark 10, 29 to 30. And when I am anxious about being sick, I battle unbelief with the promise, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 34, 19. And I take the promise with trembling. Suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Romans 5, 3 through 5.